Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Volkswagen Mods and Maintenance with Kyle Steinle. In this episode, I'll be changing the taillights in my Golf. The lights that are on the car now are aftermarket taillights that were already on the car when I bought it. I think it's time for a change, so I'll be putting in these custom smoke GTI taillights. To replace the taillights, you'll need some tools. You'll need an 8mm socket, a 10mm socket, a ratchet, and some extensions. First, you'll need to open the hatch. If you have a lot of crap in your trunk like me, it's easier to remove it for better access. First, we'll be replacing the driver's side taillight. If we look at the new taillight, you'll see three prongs on the inner part of the taillight that the nuts screw onto. So we know that we'll have to remove three nuts from the old taillight that's currently on the car. Now to access the old driver's side taillight that's on the car, open the access panel by turning these two little knobs and open it up. You'll see a black holder which holds the CD changer if you have one. There are five 10 millimeter bolts keeping this CD changer holder on. Remove each bolt as well as the harness for the CD changer. Then grab the holder, lift it up and pull it out. There is also a black metal bar below the CD changer holder that needs to be removed. It is held on by two 20T Torx screws. Remove the screws and take it out. Now you can start removing the carpeting to gain better access to the taillight. Simply pull the carpet from the top near the plastic down and it should come right out. But don't tug real hard or go crazy with it, just in case it's caught or stuck on something. Now that the carpet is pulled back, we can see the nuts holding the taillight onto the car. There's one nut in the upper right corner, one on the left near the opening of the hatch, and the third one is in this small square cutout located here. For the nut on the left, you won't need any extension, so remove that one first. Then I removed the upper right hand screw second with the use of a shorter extension. Once the nut is loose, you can just unscrew it the rest of the way with your fingers. Now for the third screw, you will also need an extension. Stick the socket through the square cutout found here. Loosen this screw somewhat, then stick your index finger through the circular opening above the square opening and place the tip of your index finger behind the nut so that when the nut is completely unscrewed, you can hold the nut in place in the socket without it falling down into the car. Remove the socket while holding the nut into the socket with your index finger and pull it out of the opening. Some people recommend to put chewing gum or toothpaste in the socket so that the nut doesn't fall out. I say you don't need chewing gum, only skill. After the nuts are off, take a look at the back of the light and notice the location of the bulbs are different than a stock taillight. Simply remove the harness connecting these bulbs, then you can take the light out. Pull the light back out a little, then remove it the rest of the way by pulling it to the left so that you're pulling it off from the side of the car. Now that the light is off, you can see the holes where the prongs on the new taillight will be going into. Take the new taillight and first line up the prong that's on the side corner of the light and slowly direct it into the hole. Then line up and direct the other prongs into their holes, making sure you move slowly so you don't snap any of them off. Now that the light is in place, you can screw the nuts back onto the prongs and tighten them up. The nut on the left will be the easiest. The nut up in the corner is a little more difficult, but not very. Here's the technique I use. Put the nut in the socket and hold it in place with your index finger. Then guide the nut back onto the screw while holding it in the socket with your finger so it doesn't fall out. Place it on the screw and tighten it up with the socket. The third nut is the most difficult, but it's still not that bad. For this one, Hold the nut into the socket with your middle finger and begin to guide it through the square opening. As you do this, stick your index finger through the circular opening and as you push the socket, allow your index finger to relieve your middle finger of having to hold the nut into the socket. So now your index finger is holding the nut in the socket. Simply guide it onto the prong using the socket to screw the nut on and tighten it up. See, easy as that. If you have a little skill, there's no need to waste any chewing gum or toothpaste. Now connect the harness into the back of the new light and replace the carpet. Put the CD changer holder back into place and screw the five 10 millimeter bolts back in. Also replace the little black metal thing with the 20T Torx screws. Close the panel and the driver's side light is done. Now for the passenger side light. Remove the small panel here and you can see the back of the passenger side tail light. Also, remove the carpeting so you can access the nuts better. This particular aftermarket light also has three nuts holding it onto the car. But if you look at the new passenger side light, there are only two prongs, not three. Now to remove the old light, locate the three nuts. 
First, remove the nut closest to you, which is the easiest. Now for the other two nuts, it's easy to use both extensions together for a super long extension. Navigate the extension and socket back towards the upper nut and place the socket on the nut and remove it. Unfortunately, I dropped the nut after I removed it, but it's not a big deal because you can easily reach down and grab it off the floor. Now remove the third nut in the same way. Of course, I dropped this one too, but I easily grabbed it off the floor. Just like the driver's side light, disconnect the harness that's behind the tail light, and now you can pull the light out. Make sure you don't pull the light out too fast. Slowly pull it backward, then pull from the right so it's removed from the side of the car. Also be careful because there's a fourth tab that is not held on by a nut. It's located at the very tip of the light, and it will break off if you try to pull the light out too fast. Now take the new light and guide the tab on the very tip in first. Then guide the other prongs in place. Replace the nuts onto the prongs and screw them on tight. Now connect the harness into the back of the light and replace the carpeting. Put the small access panel back on and you're done. The new taillights are in and they look great. Make sure you check the turn signals, brake lights, and hazards so that you know all of the bulbs are working. Well that's all for this week. Make sure you tune in next time where I'll be showing the proper way to lift the golf without damaging any of the rails, and I'll also be putting on my winter wheels. This has been Kyle Steinle with Volkswagen Mods and Maintenance. See you next time.